Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Today we are continuing with our Altered Book series. Um, I have the book. We kept the cover of the book and the back of the book, which is those. I made the spine. The spine is... Um, Three and a half inches, three and ah, <laughs> I don't remember. Hang on, mm. three and three fourths inches wide. So it's a big one. And how I came up with that is if you recall, we have been working on decorating the signatures and and stuff usually I sew the signature in before I decorate it and I usually end up with a big old gator mouth <laughs> on my journals um, this one I thought I would do some sewing um, on, on some of the pages so I didn't and I went ahead and we went ahead and we've done some decorating um, in previous videos but this is this these are the signatures and as you can see there it's pretty wide so what I did was I measured this I measured the depth across of of these three signatures and it was about three and a half inches so I added about a fourth of an inch um, because I might be adding more stuff I'm not sure <laughs> so anyway that's how I got the size and if you can see when we put those in those are going to rest very nicely in there okay so that's how I did that um, I think you've seen videos on how to do this so I I'm not sure that I need to go over that um, I will link I will link um, the video that Pamela with glam junk journals uh, put out on on doing this um, I do use the method that she uses and in fact for this one I I used that method um, so it's it's a good method one thing that I do that that she did not however is when I am putting together the back or the front to the spine I leave about an eight, eighth of an inch between the two so things fold easily, especially when you get, get layers of paper and, and other things in there. Um, it just makes, makes them bend and fold easier if you leave about an eighth of an inch on there. Um, also, she used a material that uh, she said it was some kind of diapers, diaper pants cover or something. I don't know. But the material she used is actually a waterproof material where one side of it is kind of a felt-like material and then the other side is, is a plastic film and it's for waterproof. Um, she used that. I use, I use this Tyvek, and it's just a you know a small roll. Um, this is about two inches wide, and I don't I don't know where I got this. Uh, you might want to try Amazon, um, or you know Home Depot or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, 
where I got it. I think I got it in the, in, in the section. It might have been Walmart, too. Um, where the duct tape is. This is, that's probably where you would find something like this, is where they have the duct tapes. But that's what I used, and I put, I put a roll on this side and wrapped it, and then a roll on this side and wrapped it. And then covered, this is wall, wallpaper that I covered this with, and then this is, um, scrapbook paper that I lined the inside with. But it has this Tyvek underneath all this, so it's a really good, it's not going to come apart. Next, what I did was I made a template, and this is the width of the spine and the height of, of the journal. I hope I'm in frame. Yeah. And what I did was once I got a piece of paper, and this is just copy paper, I folded it in half to get the middle this way. I folded it in half to get the middle this way. And as you can see, I did some inking so I could see where that was. And then I measured this point to this point and got the middle for this line and again these two points to get this middle and then where they intersect of course is where the holes go and I have three signatures so this is the template I used to punch holes I don't know if you can even see those holes in this I used it to punch these holes and I'll also use this to punch the holes in the signature itself. And you only need to use this middle one each time. So what I would do, and this is going to be fiddly, and I don't believe I'm going to do it on, on video just because it would probably be a whole, whole thing on on me just tr trying to, to do this and it'd be really fiddly. So what you want to do is you want to go through and make sure all your papers are positioned how you want them, especially if you have some papers that are not, you know, not the same size. You just want to make sure that all, all your papers are positioned where you want them to be. And you want to make sure they're all lined up with each other. And you want to poke, push this down. Now what I have is this little toy that I showed you when I first got it. We used it. So this is what I use to cradle this. And then you can put this inside like this. Get everything, everything lined up, pushed down well. And then you can use this template to know where to place, place the holes. shouldn't have done that. Probably should not have done that. <laughs> okay, once you get everything lined up, don't move anything. Because I just, I just did that. Now I got to get this re-lined up. There. there it is. Or else this last hole will be out of out of alignment. 
so yeah doing this after your signatures have been decorated is in my opinion a lot harder um, makes the whole thing a lot harder than it needs to be <laughs> let's put it that way now Pam had a really good idea I wonder if I can do it here I have a whole bunch of just regular paper clips but I don't have any here here's one okay so you take a, a regular paper clip and unbend it if you can and if you stick that down through the holes I don't want that do I <laughs> If you stick that down through the holes, it um, keeps them all in line. So I thought that was very clever. Yeah, so that keeps them all lined up. And if you have more paper clips, well, I guess I can use my decorative ones. If you keep those in there, then it's gonna it's gonna help you a lot when you start to you know put your needle through and get your twine going. Oh for heavenly days. Yeah, see. Ah. <laughs> through there where is the hole oh that might help if I in the right place huh well it slid through all of them except this last one I can't seem to get This one is that yeah that's still there okay get that through there this one you know this one didn't didn't go all the way through it looks like Ugh. see all my ephemera things are Falling out, and oh my goodness. Okay. Get a better hole. That might help, huh? There we go. So yeah, you put put some paper clips in there and then that just that just um, keeps your keeps your spot as it were so that's a really good idea she had so I'm really really happy with that but anyway that that's kind of the process that you do um, and like you know like I said a template is really needed especially if you have more than one signature um, so anyway that is it for today guys I just wanted to kind of get us caught up with with where I am right now and sorry I didn't do didn't do this on film I got um, well I just I got inspired late last night when lighting is not very good and um, I kind of started working on it and then I thought oh shoot <laughs> anyway but that's where we are right now guys um, the next video is going to be a fi final flip 
and we can revisit some of the things we did in prior videos. Other things I'll show you that I've done off camera. And this, this, this pretty lady will be ready to go. Thanks for, oh, another thing I did want to show that I had this scathingly brilliant idea. And I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. And I probably should have done this before I put down this paper. So I, I wrap, I wrap this kind of like a present and, and try and do the corners really well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I wrap over the paper so it's coming over about an inch or so. And then I put this paper down to kind of frame it out. Before I put this paper down, I should have put this on and had it going underneath everything, but I didn't do that. So we're going to have it going on top of everything. But this was my idea and I'm, I've never done this before. I'm sure somebody has. And maybe <laughs> if I can get this through, I had it through once. Oh boy. Hmm. Where's my pokey tool? That's a very technical term too, pokey tool. <laughs> okay, maybe we could use the pokey tool. There we go. Ah, see? Anyway, so this is my idea to have it coming off on this side, running it through, and having it come out the other side as a tie. So we're going to have to give this a cut. There's my scissors. All right. So, yeah, I was, I was kind of excited about this one, too. I just, I don't know, it just uh, came to me the other night. Like I said, I, I'm sure somebody has done this. I have not done it before. I've not seen it done. But, yeah, I'm sure other people have done this. Because, you know, <laughs> there, there, is, there is no more original ideas, is there? I mean, somebody has done just about everything or something similar anyway. So, so we lay this down and then when we sew in our signatures, it's going to be held down by that. And then I thought, well, since I didn't put this in back of this like I had intended. Once this is held down by the signatures, this could also probably be a belly band. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking that maybe maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh my goodness, get it in my coffee. <laughs> so yeah, if we have it down like that. And our signatures are inside, and then this can tie and be the closure for, for the journal. So yeah, I was I was real excited about, about that little idea. So I think that's I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna be good. Anyway, guys, um thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Um, oh, take care of you <laughs> and love each other. Bye-bye.